we are at the very beginning of what promises to be uh, a new era uh, combining games and game industry and uh, quantum physics and quantum technologies. What I've seen so far is a lot of people who don't necessarily know much about quantum computing but are very excited to learn enough to be able to incorporate it into their game mechanics and to the style of their game. Uh, so a nice openness to learn about quantum computing and do something interesting with it. At the moment quantum computers are a very uh, new thing themselves so what they can bring to game development is a new way to uh, explore something in science. Uh, what quantum computers can bring to game development in the future will be uh, interesting ways to say uh, do procedural generation so this random generation of content that you get in many games now uh, it's uh, hampered by the fact that you need to make a game that's actually solvable and uh, this is going to be a lot easier on a quantum computer. I think that the most interesting thing is to bring together people belonging to completely different communities uh, and see how different types of creativity interact with each other. So it's really this uh, multidisciplinary aspect because we have really experts in uh, um, computer coding, uh, in graphic design, and audio people and quantum physicists all together and I think that what comes out from this mixture of expertise is really uh, well particularly interesting and new and obviously this year we have also the IBM real quantum computer one of the few in the world and the only one accessible to the public so it's, it's particularly new I and mean, something that has never been tried before. I would imagine that quantum computers are going to be uh, very positively affected by new people coming into the community and that's what we want to try and encourage at this point.